Hello, my lovely students. Welcome back to Ms. Shiva, your math teacher. We're going to start a new chapter, Finding Ratio. So in this chapter, you will talk about uh, talking about ratio, using a ratio to compare two quantities. So as you can see, my drawing, I drew two bananas and three apples. So we have two bananas, three apples. So what is the ratio that you can see? Ratio of banana to apples. So how many banana do you see? So whenever we read the question, you will have to pay attention to the words. It says ratio of banana to apple. So the first thing we need to look at is banana, which is two. And apples is three. So the ratio of banana to apple is two to three. The second one, ratio of apples to banana. So first we asked about the apple. So we say apple, we put three. Two bananas, banana we have two. So apple to banana is three to two. Then we're going to talk about the using a ratio to compare a quantity with the total quantity. For example, we have the ratio of banana to all. Because we, we said banana first, so first we're going to write the number of how many bananas do we have. How many bananas do we have? On the top, we have only two. And to all, all means the total number of fruits that we have. So we have two banana and three apples, five. Ratio of apples to all. So how many apples do we have? We have three. To all means all the fruits that we have, which is five. So you really have to pay attention to the words and read the question carefully. As long as you do that, you're fine. Then we can show the ratio in different formats using a bar model to uh, to show the ratio, which is going to be the second page. So for example, we have two one unit, two units. So you have two units for banana, and we have one, two, three units for apples. The reason I put two units for banana because we have two banana. The reason I put three units for apples is because we have three apples. So you can say I'm um, showing the ratio, uh, um, the ratio by using the bar model. The second, the next part is using ratio to compare length, masses, and volumes. So for example, in the first one, you see the object A, is a backpack or something. The object A is four kilogram, object B is three kilogram. There, the ratio is not four kilogram to three kilogram. The ratio, there is no unit in a ratio. So we don't say any kilograms, centimeters, nothing, just numbers. So the ratio will be the ratio of ratio of A to B, object A to object B. Because we said A first, so we write the number of A first. It will be four, two, three. What is B to A? It will be three to four and so on. If we say the total, then we have to add the mark. So really it depends on the question. If you read the question carefully, you should not get confused. So now the lesson is finished. Now we're going to do some practices together. Practice number one, 
write the ratios. So you see some blue buttons and you see some red buttons. Number A, part A, the ratio of the number of blue buttons to number of red buttons. So it's asking us, write the ratio of blue buttons to red. First we said blue, so we're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine blue buttons. So we write nine first, we put the two dots, and then it says to the red button. Red button we have four, so it's nine to four. B, ratio of red buttons to blue buttons. So we said red first, red is four, blue is nine. That's it. Ratio of blue buttons to the total. So how many blue buttons do we have? We have nine blue buttons. Total buttons. So it's asking for a total. So we just do nine plus four is 13. So the total amount of buttons are 13. So it will be nine to 13. Now it's going to ask us, for example, show it in a bar model. If it's asking for the show uh, with the bar model, for example, saying red to blue using a bar model. Then we have four red, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and nine. So we have to draw nine bars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Nine nine blues. Uh, nine blues, yes. So that's how you show in a bar model. Uh, if it's asking for, for example, a saying a box of juice or you just really have to pay attention to the question and see what they're asking and the first word is very important blue to red so you need to write the blue first and then red blue to total buttons to the total uh, so as long as you do the questions and read the question carefully you're fine also Another thing is liters, centimeters, kilogram. You don't need to write the unit for them. So we just write the numbers. Thank you. And I'm going to come back with the next chapter. I hope you find this lesson easy. And if you don't understand, watch my uh, video again. Don't forget to subscribe and like and leave the comments. Bye guys, see you soon.